Hello everybody. On November 22nd, we've got a lovely, uplifting new moon in Sagittarius. We've survived the solar eclipse in intense, deep Scorpio, and now we can come out of the cave and come out and enjoy the uplifting energy of new moon in Sag. It's powerful because it's at naught degrees of Sagittarius. Naught degrees, it's right at the very beginning of this sign. So it augurs in for us Thanksgiving um, in the US and uh, although many of you don't necessarily celebrate Thanksgiving, um, what this new moon brings to us is giving thanks, an awareness of giving thanks for all the wonderful things that we do have in our lives. At naught degrees of Sagittarius, it's an opportunity to set brand new intentions. We can focus on the positive because Sagittarius, it likes to focus on the good things. Sagittarius also likes to be generous. Generosity of spirit. How can you show that to somebody or to yourself during this new moon in Sagittarius? I have to say I was getting a little bit concerned because my stray cat, the army of stray cats, is growing daily. I mean I've got about four regulars, but they don't just come once, they come several times a day scrounging around for food and with all these poor looking faces, I haven't the heart to turn any of them away. Well I was starting to think, I was starting to get a little concerned, well you know if this does go on how am I going to afford it? And I went to my local fish shop and getting my usual fish and then I said, you know, I need a bit of fish for the cats. Oh, and he said, no problem, uh, Andreas and Eleni in my fish shop, he said something in very fast Greek to Eleni. And all of a sudden I had a great big bag of fish for the cats. I said, how much? He said, oh no, nothing. See how the universe supports when you want to be generous and you want to give, there is a way of doing it. Just don't expect it to work out in the way you thought it should work out. Sagittarius is a mutable sign. It's not fixed. It doesn't have to have fixed plans. So try not to have fixed plans. Set an intention maybe to go on a trip somewhere that would change your perspective on life. That's why Sagittarius rules travel, because it's about the bigger perspective. It's about getting in touch with that spiritual side of your life. How can I bring meaning into my life? Depending where it falls in your chart, you can set a new intention to bring more meaning into that area of life. So maybe it's touching your seventh house of relationships. Time to bring more meaning and depth into your relationships. And as well, the more you give, the more you get to give. There is just a magic in that. So this really is a fun moon. It's time to, uh, th when things don't turn out the way you think they should. I mean, for example, I wanted to go to Ikea and um, I thought I was all in the right direction. I was going to a place I thought was the right place. It was Elinico. And I got there and I asked somebody, I said, well, where's Ikea? And this guy looked at me and he said, there's no Ikea anywhere near here. I said, oh, I said, well, is there a name sounding a little bit like a Linico that maybe is somewhere else? Oh, he said, I think you want Egaleo. I said, well, it begins with an E and ends in an O. As it turned out, though, I met this lovely guy, Nikos, and we ended up going up for a coffee and having just a really nice chat in a Linico when I'd been taken way off the route that I had originally intended. So maybe you'll be taken way off the route that you originally intend and end up somewhere a whole lot nicer. I can assure you it was a lot nicer sitting having coffee with Nico than it was one trudging around Ikea looking for a table lamp. So 
And there you have it. How can you make fun of a situation that maybe doesn't quite turn out the way you want it to and think about the feeling of generosity and thanksgiving. Meditate on that and you will bring more abundance into your life for this new moon, this jolly new moon in Sagittarius. I wish you a very happy new moon. Bye for now.